we have a fun activity planned for you today for math. And we are going to get to know each other a little better using math. So the picture you see here, figure me out, this page is in your folder that was in your supply bag. So you will need to get your folder and pull out this page. I'm going to go over the directions now and then afterwards you will complete this assignment on your own using this page in your supply bag. So again, we are going to learn more about each other and certain important information about each other using math. So each of the boxes lists a topic and it includes age, birth month, birth date, letters in your name, people in your family, pets, house number, and shoe size. And we could make it super easy and just write the answers for each of these in the box, but we want to make it a little more challenging and fun. So instead of just placing the answer in the box, you are going to come up with a math problem that would equal that number. So we'll start off with the first box, age. Oh, a little zoomed in here. So my age today is actually my birthday and I turned 29 today. So I need to think of a problem using either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to get an answer of 29. So let's say I wanted to do addition. I could come up with many different problems that would equal 29. I could keep it simple and just do 20 plus 9. That equals 29. So then I would go back to my page here and for my age I would write 20 plus 9. That would work. Maybe I want to stump them a little more though. And I'm going to say, I want to use subtraction in there too. So maybe I'm going to say my age is 40 minus 11 and 40 minus 11 is 29. So I could put 40 minus 11. Maybe you'd like to combine different operations. So another example, you could do 30 minus 5 plus 4 because 30 minus 5 is 25 and when I add 4 it equals 29. So this could be another problem I could put in. 30 minus 5 plus 4. I could put that into this box. You can make this as challenging or simple as you'd like. There are many ways to come up with the answers to each of these questions. I'll do one more example. If I were to do birth month, well, my birth month is September. And it is the, September is the ninth month of the year. So I need to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to come up with an answer of nine. So maybe I'll think of multiplication this time. What two factors could I multiply together to get nine? Ah, three times three. Three times three equals nine. So I'm going to put this problem in the box on the previous page 
So birth month three times three. And then I would continue with the other ones in this on this page. So basically, you're explaining your answers, but in a way that's going to make others really think. We're not just giving the answer, like saying, instead of just saying my age is 29, I'm going to say, you have to try and figure my age out using this information. So it makes it uh, sort of fun for us to do together. So at this time, I would like you to pull out the figure me out page from your folder in your supply bag and you are going to work on that. Let your teachers know if you have any questions.